hi guys it's kelly so uh, welcome back to my channel um it's kind of been a little bit since my last video and i truly uh feel really bad about that i don't know i just feel really bad about it because it's not intentional it's not like i didn't want to make videos i just honestly haven't been feeling very well and um my exhaustion has been a lot worse um, i've just been feeling really sick really easily from really doing nothing so of course like talking and stuff like this is kind of even you know a struggle i guess you could say but i'm doing it anyway because i honestly just feel like who cares if i'm tired who cares if i don't feel well i have got to talk to you guys and um hopefully just yeah make your day a little bit better i don't know from hearing from me and knowing that you know you're not alone in what you're going through so i promised you guys that i would kind of keep you updated about the whole like suspected endometriosis um and the adenomyosis situation with me and so i was trying to find somebody you know a doctor or a surgeon that could take a second look or actually a third look at my situation um, because my other surgeons couldn't tell if I had endometriosis and um, they didn't want to take any biopsies or anything so it's just been an inconclusive thing and we just need we just need to just get to it and figure out what's going on so I sent in my um, all my I can't speak <laughs> Um, I sent in all of my records to uh, Dr. Cenervo's office in Atlanta, Georgia, and he um, is apparently like one of the best of the best with um, endometriosis and finding it and, you know, helping tons of women with it. And even though I haven't been diagnosed with it, um, we just need someone to figure out if I have it or not, you know, and really I... I don't know if I have it or not, but we definitely know something is definitely wrong with my uterus. Um, it's very fragile and just doesn't look normal. So, you know, that that is an issue and my last surgeon suspected adenomyosis with my uterus. So we need to figure out what we're going to do with that because I've been on, you know, birth control for the adenomyosis which has helped obviously stop my periods which is a huge blessing but i still don't feel good i still get daily period like pains and cramping and pressure in my lower abdomen and so we need to figure out what to do with that so pretty much um dr Cernervo said he would take on my case and i am super grateful so thankful um like truly i feel really blessed that you know god has led me to him and that he thinks he can help so i don't know i'm just super grateful so if all goes well with insurance then we should be heading up to dr Cernervo's office in a couple weeks um in june so that's really um, exciting. I'm obviously kind of scared, nervous, anxious, overwhelmed, all those emotions, but ultimately I'm just feeling very thankful that I can have one of the best surgeons looking at my case and, you know, figuring things out for me a little bit more. So, yeah. So as far as, you know, the options for endomyosis, there's not many options at all really for it. And, you know, I've prayed a lot about this. I've talked to my family about this. I've talked to my fiance about this. And we're all in agreement that the best thing to do for me if I do have adenomyosis in my uterus and if my uterus really is as fragile and um, diseased as my last surgeon said it was, then I am probably going to end up uh, getting a hysterectomy. Um not something that I thought I would have to deal with or even think about being so young but um, I feel like God has plans for us and they're always better than what we plan for ourselves and maybe having children of my own is not in the cards for me and 
I have a lot of peace about that now because I've prayed so much about it um, over like months now. And at first I was super anxious and of course I'm anxious still. Like I'm still nervous, I'm still overwhelmed by just, I don't know, just everything. But now I have more peace in knowing that whatever's gonna happen, um, God is in control and God will speak through my surgeon um, this time to, you know, lead him on what he needs to do to help me the best. Because I really feel like being able to actually get rid of one of your health problems is doesn't really come around very often. And this is something that's actually been really bothering me for a long time. Like, I am constantly feeling like I'm gonna get my period. Like, I constantly feel like that period cramping and pressure and like, I don't even know how to explain it. It hurts so bad and I have back pain from it. Like, I just, I don't feel good a lot and I feel like a lot of it is like from that. Um, especially with the pain in my lower abdomen. I feel like that's probably one of the things that's causing so much pain, at least. Um, I know I have other health issues, but to be able to get rid of one would be amazing. And I think I would truly have a lot better quality of life, you know. So that is what we're thinking of. That's what we've been praying about, trying to get, you know, some wisdom for all this. And we're all on the same page in my family about this would be the best thing for me to do and it's not the best thing for everybody you know people can choose whatever that they feel comfortable doing but i personally don't feel comfortable with the other options that there is for adenomyosis because just for various of my own personal reasons i just i don't feel comfortable with it so um not that i'm comfortable with hysterectomy either but to me the other options are band-aids and I, I just want I just want the pain to go away from that issue. So that's what we were thinking of and I'm prepared for that so that if we do, you know, when we do go see Dr. Snervo and he says like these are your options, what are you thinking? And then we can tell him like for sure like this is what we're thinking and this is what we want if you go in there and my uterus is a mess. You know, God is good and he's He's not going to take away something from somebody without giving blessings back that are bigger and better than we could have ever thought. So, you know, maybe I'm meant to just have puppies, you know, which I love puppies. I love my dogs and so, you know, I don't know, maybe I was never meant to have kids in the first place. So, um, I don't know. It's all kind of overwhelming right now, but I do have peace in my heart knowing that God is in control and he will lead us and lead the doctors into doing what's best for me and my health. And then of course with the endometriosis, um, you know, he's definitely going to, you know, check out all that, see if I have endometriosis or not, take some biopsies finally <laughs> because we need to figure out what's going on. And I might have my appendix removed depending on if that's an issue. I won't know like for sure, for sure what's happening of course until pre-op, which is gonna be the day before my surgery. So I'm going to do my best to take you guys with me and vlog and kind of document my experience and everything like that. Cause I think that it can be really helpful to a lot of you guys who may be going through the same thing. Yeah, that's about it. That's all I really wanted to update you guys on. I'm really sorry if this video is kind of all over the place, but like I said, I just, I don't know. I haven't felt well. My exhaustion's been really bad. I just feel really sick. I mean, currently right now I have a headache and I'm just like, ugh, I just want to go to bed. I don't feel good, so. But I feel really good knowing that I filmed this for you guys and that I can talk to you guys and we can have communication and just like conversations in the comments. I'm really glad I got to talk to you guys about this because it's been weighing on my heart for a while to talk to you guys about this because I don't know, it's like a really big deal to me and I just feel like maybe somebody else is going through this too and I just really want to help you guys feel less alone and you know, also spread awareness about what I'm going through as well because I feel like sharing what we're going through is really scary. It's really frightening because you're being vulnerable and I don't know, that that makes it really scary, but I believe that God wants us to share our story. You know, he wants us to comfort and help others through their suffering too. So 
if I can share my story and maybe help somebody or at least brighten someone's day or comfort someone, then it makes it all worth it and you know, that's why I'm sharing. So anyway, I'm gonna go lay down probably. I'm really tired and put my heating pad on and probably get some tea and just kind of relax for the rest of the day. But yeah, I hope you guys are doing well and I will see you guys later. Bye.